we're patients. It's supposed to be confidential, like, mm. and now it's out there. Now we're getting these letters, like, out of the blue that uh, you get shocked because you're getting this and then you start reading it. So how long has this been going on and, and we know nothing about it? Good evening, I'm Roger Peterson here on Hospital Row. And when you go into a hospital anywhere, you expect your records, your medical records, to be kept safe. Privacy of his utmost important, but importance. But uh, for Pamela Osmond Rose, she is reeling today after finding out that a staffer at William Osler Health in Brampton had used her records to get prescription narcotics. Osmond Rowe fears she may not have been the only one. I mean, how'd you feel when you opened that letter? I was shocked. I was very shocked. And so was I when I read it. I, I was imagine. really surprised. Because, I mean, it's a hospital. I mean, this is, like, what kind of people you got working for you? Pamela and her husband, Barry, still looking for answers after getting a letter from Osler that told her personal files had been accessed illegally to obtain painkillers. Now, when we contacted Osler, we were given a statement that reads in part, quote, This week, Osler notified patients regarding a breach of confidentiality following an internal investigation that found a hospital employee had viewed or inappropriately used patient personal health information to access narcotics, Percocet, for non-hospital use. The employee involved has not worked at the organization since the internal investigation was initiated, and Peel Regional Police and other appropriate authorities have been notified. Ulster has fully cooperated with the police and other authorities and will continue to do so. Now, we both emailed and called the hospital to try and find out how many people were affected, but we have yet to receive an answer. Osmond Rowe fears there are a lot more than just her. This is a big deal. Because when I got this letter today and I said, what? Registered mail. And, and then my, the mailman told me he's like delivered 30 of them already and his partner like 20. Osmond Rose says what is even more concerning to her is just how long this may have been going on for. When were you last in the right. hospital? Oh my God, probably about six, seven years ago. And no indication from the hospital about when this the breach Nothing. may have happened? Nothing. Nothing. And that this is what's puzzling me today. Also providing no details on just how long this may have been going on for, nor would they answer our questions about what changes were being made. Their statement providing few insights into that. Quote, at Ulcer, our commitment to patients is paramount. We have put additional controls in place to help ensure this type of activity does not happen again. The hospital is also working to further strengthen policies and procedures related to this type of event, including regular proactive audits and reviews. What would you like to see done from by the hospital? Well, better improvements for sure. Like, I mean, uh, better screening for their, their staff, an apology letter, something. Osmond Rose says she and her family are now considering what their next state step might be. And one of the things they are looking at is talking to a legal expert about what they might be able to do.